Is PHP going to die and why should you care? This programmable robot that my son plays with holds the answer to the second question and the entire point of this video, but in short, yes, PHP is going to die just like uh, YouTube and Facebook and pretty much anything else. Sorry, it's true. I worked professionally with PHP for 15 years and I really love it, but everything has an expiration date. It is still very popular though, so it's not going anywhere soon. But if we look at the Stack Overflow trends, for example, they show this decrease in popularity. And same is shown on this PIPL index, which tries to represent the popularity of some programming language, and it also shows this decline in PHP popularity. So if I would have to guess, I would say that PHP will not be that very popular language in, say, a 10 or 20 years. So there's your answer, but here's your question as well. Why should you care? So are you making a mistake by learning PHP now? I understand your concerns very well. I was once very stressed which uh, JavaScript library to learn, like Mutools or jQuery or Angular or React, or maybe a Code Igniter or Cake PHP framework. And guess what? After writing a bunch of code in all of these years, I sort of could not care less now about languages or libraries. And I'm yet to meet a great programmer that inspired me and impressed me with his skills who can program in a single language. All good programmers are very, very flexible and at least understand principles in majority of languages out there. And I bet you that in few months they can become fluent in whatever they need to work with to get to the solution. I remember when I was 16 and I worked in a local cafe and we started noticing that the other cafe is actually much more popular than ours. And our boss told us then, a very intelligent guy by the way, he explained that in Formula 1 game there are basically two or three winners every year, the most popular teams. So why do other teams even bother at all, if they are never going to be the first or the most popular, what do they get out of it? Well, besides that it's very, very difficult to get into Formula 1, they learn a lot by just being in the game. Do you know how good engineer you have to be so that you can be in any Formula 1 team? And the same is with programming, it is pretty much a Formula 1 game for all of us. And I will personally never be a leading Formula 1 software engineer, leading the engineering team in Microsoft or Google, but do you think I care? And I'm not saying just learn PHP because whatever, you have to decide does it make sense for you. Because there is no such answer like learn this and that and your life will be great, your career will skyrocket. The only answer you can find is that it depends. It depends on what you want to work with, where do you want to work at, how much work are you willing to put into it. It also depends on the market. You see the programming career, like a lot of other careers actually, is not something that you're going to learn for a year or two. Then you're finished, you will know it all, and you will never have to change frameworks or library or even a programming language. That is why you should learn programming concepts and then learn languages. And also, if you're not able to learn two frameworks or two programming languages, well, maybe this profession is not quite for you, I'm just saying, because it's not about the language, it's about making solutions. So why do you care about PHP? So why is PHP losing its popularity? Even though PHP is st still uh, very popular and holds very strong for the backend language, other languages are slowly becoming an alternative in the web. The Python is actually very popular these days and uh, I think that's mainly because of the arti artificial intelligence demand. But it's also very easy to learn. But does that mean that we should uh, learn Python for web? Well, you have, if you have the luxury to choose, then pick whatever you like. If you want to work with Python, then just do it. Don't choose PHP, obviously. My personal impression is that Python is not as specialized for web as PHP is, but again, neither is JavaScript a backend language, language, and yet people successfully use it via Node.js. But what's most important is check the job demand around you. Here in Norway, for example, the PHP is not that popular uh, for the backend as much as uh, Java is, for example. Probably because here we don't have that many startups compared with the US, for example. But uh, I also heard that from people that the number of job opportunities have decreased a bit for PHP. Uh, probably again not because of the PHP itself, but again because other languages are catching up. These days it's pretty common to build a website using a JavaScript as a single page application as a front end, and then use, for example, Java as a backend, or Python, or even JavaScript as a backend language. And that was not that easy to do 10 or 15 years ago. So if you live in the area where there are a lot of PHP jobs, well then obviously choose PHP. 
And if there are jobs for Python, then go with the Python. Because what's the worst thing that happened? You will learn another language. <laughs> it's not about the language. If you are not yet working as a programmer, then just focus on getting into the industry. Because it's not that difficult to learn another programming language when you need to. And guess what? Even the maker of PHP, Rasmus Ladov, actually makes all the PHP libraries and core PHP stuff in C programming language. So if you thought that PHP is almighty language, well, PHP actually run on C or C++ libraries. And all functions that we use in PHP are natively running in C or C++. Take sort, for example. That function is actually written in C language because it's much more efficient than sorting. So even if you're writing your code in PHP, you're actually write using the C language. So now you might think that it's better to learn only JavaScript because it can be used on both things. But guess what? TypeScript is used these days pretty much in all serious libraries. And it's becoming very popular on GitHub, gaining popularity over some other languages. So the same discussion will be held about should I learn pure JavaScript or should I learn uh, TypeScript? In a few years, we'll, we're going to talk about that. And why are you going to do that? If you want to be a programmer, you should learn programming principles and then learn to use one specific language as a tool to solve some problems that are in front of you. But you're not a tool user, a specialist for using some tool. You're a programmer who uses tools. You're not just a coder, a person who can write a code in PHP or whatever. You're a programmer as well. And what is the difference? Well, you can program your washing machine, for example, without writing a single line of code. This robot that I have here, it can be programmed using these blocks here. And even my four-year-old boy can do it. He cannot write any code, I assure you, but he knows some programming principles. And this robot here is just like your computer, your server. It has to do what you tell it, because in essence, it's just really stupid and dumb machine. Ah. So what should you do? Learn PHP because it does not matter? Well, again, the only relevant thing to look for is are the job opportunities around you. So find the companies you want to work at and uh, just ask them what they're using. If you live in a small town, for example, with two development companies using a whatever, you either learn that whatever or be prepared to move or maybe work remotely. So do your research and learn anything that could get you into the programming and then learn programming principles, different data structures, learn design patterns, etc. You do not get stuck into one and only language. The language is just a tool we use to express our solutions to some problems. It does not define you or me in any way. In the beginning, sure, you will have most experience with uh, one programming language, but very soon you will grow out of it because you know how to program, right? But if you do like PHP, then go with it. If not, then don't. Uh, you, you want to be a programmer, right? Then do the programming and not just writing PHP code. Do you think a chef in his restaurant, in his kitchen, cares if his favorite stove is not the most popular or if it will be replaced soon or if his frying pan is obsolete? He is the one making the food, it's not his pan. So do not mix the programmer with a advanced PHP coder and do not mix photographer with advanced Canon or Sony user. Camera does not make photographs, the photographers do. So if your goal is to be the programmer, then you should not care if the tool you're using is going to be there in the next 10 years. You, you, just, you just don't. All we care is what that tool can do for us today. You see, we are using our code to express ourselves, to solve some problems, right? So you can think of yourself as a poet or, or a book writer. You can write a good poem and a good story in pretty much any language. Sure, one language will be dominant. But if you know basics of writing, you only need to learn some language-specific things like syntax or some cultural things. But a good book is a good book in pretty much any language. 